Recently, at Kings Island, they have announced their brand new for 2020 Giga Coaster, and I'm pretty sure everyone saw this coming, because it has been a rumor literally since Mystic Timber's shed, okay? Everyone was like, what's in the shed? It's a Giga. And it was true. The Giga has officially come to Kings Island, and this is a perfect fit for Kings Island, because they seriously needed this. Like, they have Diamondback, which I get it, but this was the last major Cedar Fair Park to need a Giga Coaster because, you know, you have, like, King's Dominion, Carowinds, Cedar Point, um, and Canada's Wonderland, and now you have King's Island. So all five of those Cedar Fair Parks are huge, and now they officially have the Giga Coasters that everyone wanted. So, yeah, so they recently announced the name is Orion. This is going to be a uh, B&M Giga Coaster. Um, it is huge, and the theme is basically that it's a continuous meteor shower, and you're in a simulator that's ready to test it. So, personally, I think that this is a great theme. I think it's going to be the most themed coaster at Kings Island, hopefully, and I think it's going to turn out pretty good. This is going to overshadow Diamondback like crazy, but this is going to be awesome, I think. But I honestly, from the layout, to be honest, I honestly think that Diamondback is going to like kind of run with this thing because diamondback is airtime and so is this like there's you know fury is low to the ground transitions with probably four good airtime moments it seems like every hill on this thing is airtime moments so i don't know what to expect um i feel like that they could have done a little bit better with this giga coaster but i'm not trying to hate because i think that this is an awesome ride um but yeah, I think it's it's just it's gonna be awesome. So let's get into the experience of this roller coaster because you know we do that in every single analysis. So basically, it is a two hundred eighty seven foot tall drop, uh, two hundred eighty seven feet, and a three hundred foot drop. I will get into those stats later. Um, but yeah, it's a three hundred foot drop into a turn, which is probably gonna be pretty intense. It's like one hundred and forty seven feet. I I forget this the height, and then you go into a turnaround which is, looks pretty good, but to be honest, it looks kind of, it has a bit of pacing issues, and now you go into the best part of the ride, which is the speed hill, which is like 56 feet, and that is crazy, that thing's gonna give a sustained airtime, go into another airtime hill, into a figure eight helix, which is actually pretty cool, because uh, we haven't really seen that many of these, there's, this is gonna be similar to the one on Shambhala, which is um, a bit on B&M Hyper, go into a turn, into an airtime moment, and then into the what is the most obnoxiously long break run you'll ever see in your life. So yeah, that is the layout for the Kings Island Giga. Now let's talk about this 287 foot thing because people were like, oh, it's not a Giga coaster, it's a hyper coaster. Well, if you think about that, that would mean that Apollo's Chariot wouldn't be a hyper. Because Apollo's Chariot's 170 feet, but it has a 215 foot drop. And guys, it's 13 feet. Like, it's literally 13 feet. I get it. Like, yeah, people may be critical on this thing. But if you guys are calling this not a Giga and it's not actually a Giga, then Apollo's Chariot's not a hyper because Apollo's Chariot's only 170 feet. But there's a 215 drop. And the drop on this thing is 300 feet exactly. If the drop was 299 feet, I would say this is not a Giga coaster because you have to have at least a 300-foot drop. But honestly, I think... You know what, let's just go with this thing's going to be insane. I really hope that this turns out well. Um, it has eight hills, which I also kind of don't disagree with. The turnaround, I don't really consider a hill. But that is the roller coaster, and whatever Kings Island thinks is whatever Kings Island thinks. So, whatever happens, happens. I hope to God that this turns out well and is not, like, not a failure of the Giga Coaster, because Giga Coasters, every Giga I've ridden is awesome. Um, and this is going to be on another one that I'm going to be riding next year. I will be riding this next year as long as, as long with, along with Leviathan at Canada's Wonderland. So hopefully this thing turns out good. It looks pretty awesome from the POV and stuff. And I think that if a back row night ride on this will be incredible. Imagine just getting sucked down that drop, getting pulled around turns at 91 miles an hour into airtime hills. It's just going to be an awesome ride and I'm super excited for it. So, thank you guys for watching this awesome review. 
Um, I appreciate it if you guys give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.